Is it a onesie? Is it a sleeping bag? Is it a tool for quick and easy bear escapes in the middle of the night? It's all of the above. It's a silk bag. Now, I'm not gonna lie. When I first came across the silk bag, I was intrigued, but also dubious. I mean, look at this thing. It's a giant onesie. It looks like the kind of thing you'd see on a late night infomercial, not a rack at REI. It has strong novelty vibes is what I'm saying. But I was like, you know what? Don't judge a onesie by its likelihood to be hocked by Billy Mays back in the day. God rest his soul. Try it out for yourself first. So I did. I thought it's made of recycled materials, has recycled synthetic insulation, and heck, could be pretty useful on some upcoming summer camping trips in the mountains where it can get pretty dang chilly at night when you're just, you know, hanging around the campsite before bedtime. So why not? And you know what? I love this thing. And I was wrong. It is not a novelty. It's actually very useful and cozy and instantly made me the most popular person at the campground. I'm just saying, if you wanna make new friends but are bad at starting conversations, this thing will do the trick. Numerous people commented on it while I was hoofing it around the campground or washing my dishes near the bathrooms. I mean, how could you not? I look like a cuddly blue ice pop. There are other more subtle colors available, by the way, but <laughs> what fun is that? One guy even asked where he could get one, but complete strangers approving of my gear choices and life decisions aside, it also had my parents in stitches. I wore it camping with them before and after after backpacking in Grand Teton National Park. Uh, subscribe so you don't miss that video coming soon. And while they claimed they didn't want to try it on, they thoroughly enjoyed watching me traipse around in it. You know what, I think I'm just gonna get both of them one for Christmas. I think they'd like that. But functionally speaking, I had almost zero complaints. It is stupendously cozy. I loved that the durable booties can be zipped on or off for sleeping or walking around camp, that there are attached mitten-like hand covers, and that you can cinch the hood. It's easy to get in and out of because of the nice long zipper down the side, has a handy kangaroo pocket, makes staying warm while cooking brekkie or dinner in the cold way easier than wrapping yourself in a blanket or a attempting to wear your sleeping bag like a giant sock, and maybe the most useful feature, makes it super easy to yeet yourself out of your tent if a bear comes knocking in the middle of the night. Also, if you do choose to sleep in it, you can way more easily punch your tent mate in the kidney if they won't stop snoring. Plus, if you tend to sleep in awkward and contorted positions, there's no sleeping bag to constrain you. Huzzah! There are a few downsides, of course. The hood is pretty low volume, so you may have to cinch it a bit to keep it in place, and Ponytails will make for a tricky fit, almost guaranteed. Also, and I'd like to see this available on future models, perhaps the more adventure ready ones, this is the light version, by the way, a crotch zipper or butt flap to make going to the bathroom easier. I mean, I don't wanna have to take this whole thing off when I'm nice and cozy just cause I have to pee. So, uh, hey, silk bag. Let me know if you wanna get together with Nara to start talks about pee zipper technology happy to arrange an introduction. Lastly, fit is going to be tricky for people of size. It does come in an array of sizes from small to extra large, but this is a medium. And I'm only 5'3". According to the brand size chart, Josh would need a large. The medium was a bit too snug on him. So basically anyone taller than 6'4 or who has a larger than average body probably won't find a model that fits. But hopefully the company will remedy that soon and offer extended sizing in the near future. As for other deets, it's machine washable, <laughs> huzzah. A medium weighs just under 2.6 pounds, it packs down pretty small, and the comfort limit of the light version is rated for 55 degrees, which is not too bad, honestly. Now, if you're not sure what comfort limit means, we'll drop a link to our explanation of the wild world of sleeping bag temperature ratings below. But this is so much more than a wearable sleeping bag. You can hike in it, lounge in it, roast marshmallows in it, make all your shivering friends jealous in it. I mean, the possibilities are literally endless. So check it out for yourself. We'll drop a link in the description below. Don't forget to ring that bell and hit subscribe before you go. You wouldn't want to miss more novel gear reviews like this, would you? Then follow Terra Drift on Insta, Facebook, and Twitter for more fun adventures and read about even more of our favorite gear on terradrift.com. Then wander on, preferably in a puffy teal onesie. You won't regret it. That's all I'm saying.